Hey folks, this is Vint with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out the Legend of Keepers Feed the Troll DLC. This DLC will be available soon. At the moment, this is a preview build that you're looking at, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. I just want to quickly show you some of the new content so that you can decide whether or not you want to pick it up for yourself. Now, because I've played this game already and covered it many times before, I'm not going to get into the actual gameplay. The gameplay loop for the most part is the same. For those of you that don't know anything about this game, it's a roguelite experience where you pick a dungeon master, you set down some monsters and some traps, and you're trying to stop the good guys from getting to your, your boss and defeat him. That, that's typically how that goes. And then in between each in-game week, you'll be able to pick between various events that pop up, uh, buy new monsters, upgrade them, level them up, um, other things like that. So, uh, what does this particular Feed the Troll DLC have to offer? Well, I started a new game. I'm mid-run, so I don't want to lose that progress. But um, here's a quick look at the new Shaman boss that you'll have access to. And if I click on Info down here, it says um, his first name is An Chan Chu, if I'm pronouncing that right. I, I want to say Gesundheit every time I hear that. Uh, but he is a troll, uh, though trolls prefer the calm of the wide open spaces. And Chan Chu was chased off his lands by civilization and colonization and blah, 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 so on, so on. If you want to read that, just pause the video and you can read that for yourself. You can see his stats down here. It looks like he is resistant to fire and ice, but is susceptible to... Well, you've got air, armor, and nature. It's kind of strange. Uh, in, in my personal experience with Dungeons & Dragons, trolls are typically susceptible to fire so that they can't regenerate. You know what I mean? That's how you kill them. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So that's their bio. Uh, traits and talents. So here's a t quick look at that. I'll go over some of them. Uh, monsters have a 10-20% chance to gain enhanced armor when activating Solar Blessing. I'll touch on that in a minute. Uh, spirits regenerate 5-10-15% of their maximum life when they kill a hero. Master gains 5-10 to 10 power. Skewering applies 1 or 2 additional bleeding stacks and so on. Uh, there's a lot more talents that you can mess around with. Uh, primarily, though, you're going to be encountering some new concepts that is exclusive to this particular DLC. Um, for example, some things that are new, there are three conjurations to choose from when you get a promotion, and that includes a passive and two random ones. Also, there's a new sun and moon blessing concept. Uh, basically, it gives passive abilities to spirit monsters, and that is evident in these various talents here. So, for example, Solar Blessing also increases monsters' fire resistance and armor by 2 slash 5. And again, if, the more points you throw into it, it goes from 2 and then 5. Um, there's some other ones here that, you know, mention, if I can find it, uh, Celestial Betrayal activates a random blessing if no blessings are active... Um, I'm sure there's more here. Yeah, there's... Yeah, Lunar Blessing also increases monsters' ice and air resistance by 2 slash 5. So you get the idea. There's a new, like, solar and lunar blessing system going on here, and that will buff your your spirit monsters in various ways. Speaking of monsters, um, you start with these ones here. There's Nagul... whatever. Uh, Skeleton Soldier, Skeleton Dog... And Hanga, uh, Skeleton Majorette, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pronouncing that right, sure. Uh, circular Saw and Furnace. So these are the various starting monsters that you get. Um, also, it says reward down here, Longevity Idol. Spirits definitively gain five life when they kill a hero. So again, this, this particular shaman boss sort of like just focuses around spirits and solar and lunar uh, blessings and the like. So, uh, if you enjoyed playing this game, I mean, there's already a previous DLC out there that unlocked the goddess. So this is like the second DLC in the series, this particular shaman. So, I mean, if you already bought the first DLC, I don't see why you wouldn't buy the second one. It's just more content, uh, more fun. Yes, the gameplay loop is generally the same, but, uh, what keeps me coming back is this talent tree. I love, you know, every run you get some permanent progression here. So if you haven't seen any gameplay for this yet, you may want to check it out. I've got some other videos out there. That way you can decide whether or not you want to pick up the core game and then eventually this DLC once it releases. 
If you guys haven't already, subscribe to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.